Download and install the OBS plugin, then set up your destinations, hit start streaming on all of them, and you're done. Before we jump into the how-to part of this tutorial, I would like to give you some technical backgrounds about multi-streaming. When you're live streaming to just one destination on the internet, let's say Twitch, a good rule of thumb is that you need about 8 megabits of upload speed on your internet connection when streaming one full HD stream. In this tutorial, we're going to set up OBS in a way that OBS is not just sending out one stream, but many streams to multiple destinations at the same time. Which means for each destination that you want to send a live stream to, you need about 8 megabits of upload internet speed. There are other methods to multi-streaming that do not impact your internet speed by using a proxy like for example Restream. And if you want to learn how that method is working, check out the link in the video description down below. We did a full video about this already. If you're not sure if your internet connection is good enough for multi-streaming, do this simple calculation. Take the amount of services you want to be live on at the same time, calculate that by 8 megabits, then head over to speedtest.net, do a quick speed test and if your upload speed, that is the second speed you see, is higher than the amount you calculated, in our case 16 megabits, you're safe to multi-stream with this method. So let's jump into the how-to part of this video. In the first step, we open the OBS Multi RTMP plugin website. Link to it is, of course, in the video description down below. Then we scroll down to where it says Windows. We click on this link. This brings us to GitHub. Then we scroll down to where we have the assets. And then we download the OBS Multi RTMP portable.zip. And in the next step, we first open the zip file we just downloaded. Then we also open the OBS install directory. And then we just simply take those two folders from the zip file, move it over to the OBS install directory. And this is all we need to do to install the plugin. Now we can open OBS Studio and make sure the plugin got installed. If the plugin was installed correctly, you should see a floating window, which is called multiple outputs. You can dock this window to your OBS by just simply move it to a border and let go. In order for this plugin to work, we need OBS to be encoding and streaming, which means we need to set up our first destination inside OBS and then use the multi-stream plugin for every additional destination. So first we go to the OBS settings, go to stream and define our first target. In my case, I'm going to use Twitch. I'm going to use a stream key. I enter the stream key and press OK. In the next step, we can click on to add new target Let's give it a name. I call this the YouTube Stream A. Then I select the RTMP server, add the RTMP key and leave the rest as is. Then press OK and we have added a new destination. Then repeat this process with all other destinations. I'm going to add two more. Now we have set up a total of four destinations. The built-in Twitch destination in OBS as well as three additional destinations using the multi-stream plugin. And if we want to start streaming, we simply hit on start streaming. With that, our built-in stream is going live. And then we have to hit start for each of our destinations. And right now we are streaming to all four destinations at the same time. And we can now go and check and see if we're streaming to all four destinations. So let's check the stream number one, which is the test stream A, which is working. So let's use the chat and say hello from test stream A. Then we go over, check out test stream B. Test stream B is working as well. Let's say hello, welcome from test stream B. And then we go over to Twitch. Twitch is also working and A, hey, we have someone who's already chatting. And that is working as well. And lastly, let's check out the uh, live stream studio. That is working as well. And in OBS, we also see the chat messages from all uh, those streams. And if you want to know how we can combine the chat messages from all those different live streaming services, check out the link in the video description down below. We did a full video on that before. If you want to stop streaming, you have to stop streaming each source separately. So if you want to just stop streaming, on the Restream Studio, you do that by clicking stop. And if we go over, we see the image has frozen and the stream just ended. So that worked just fine, but we're still live on the other channels as well as Twitch. So that worked. And if we want to stop those two, we again go to the site, we can stop them. And we of course could also restart them from here 
And lastly, we also go and stop Twitch. And now we stopped streaming on all four destinations. And this is pretty much it. This is a do-it-yourself multi-stream setup using OBS, which requires a little bit more of your internet bandwidth. But if you have that, that's just a very easy solution to go live on multiple channels at the same time. If you have any question about this video or multi-streaming in general, make sure to either join the Creator Exchange Discord server and ask your question there, or just write your question as a comment below this video. I will try my very best to answer all of your questions. And with that said, there's not much more to say than thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a comment, like the video, and I will see you in another video, which is probably one of the videos that are currently here on the end card, where we talk about other things, all about streaming and content creation. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. Thanks for watching. I see you there. Goodbye. Bye-bye.